taking off. My name is Cleopa Otieno. I work with an organization called Kenya Flying Labs and uh, we are a technology uh, organization. We one of the approved uh, drone operators in Kenya by KCA. Um, we work with drones uh, for social good uh, projects and uh, one of the reasons we are here today is uh, because we are testing a CEDAR drone uh, which is a mechanism we developed here through partnership with a sister uh, organization called We Robotics and the idea is to uh, use this mechanism to uh, plant seed balls and our desire is to uh, have this technology uh, augment the other ways tree planting uh, is, is currently being done. So the idea is to uh, use a seeding mechanism that uh, holds uh, seed balls and seed balls are basically uh, balls with seeds in them uh, coated in charcoal matter um, and, and, and it can be dropped or thrown by hand or uh, uh, by an aeroplane and for this purpose we're using a drone because of its, its advantage in terms of reaching places that would ordinarily be hard to reach uh, by an aeroplane or a uh, human being walking, throwing by hand. My name is Teddy Kilinjui. I'm from Seed Balls, Kenya. And we've come here today, these are Seed Balls. We've come here today with Kenya Flying Labs, Kefri and Drone Space to do a small demonstration of aerial seeding using unmanned aerial vehicles. The idea behind Seed Balls was we wanted to look at a method for mimicking natural regeneration of forests. We started thinking about who planted all of the trees in Kenya to begin with. And of course, it's a lucky seed that fell in the right place at the right time. So we were very interested in looking at that as a way to lower the cost of growing more indigenous trees. Today, we are happy to have seen the demonstration of how drone technology will help us in reforestating the land. Uh, the Ministry of Environment and Forestry in 2019 developed the national, tree, so national strategy for achieving and maintaining 10% tree cover. And out of that uh, strategy, KEFRI, as a research institution, was tasked with the, the task of identifying technologies and innovations that will help to achieve the 10% recovery cover at an accelerated rate. And uh, out of that, we got into thinking and looking for ways in which we can accelerate the restoration of the 5.1 million hectares in the country that the government has committed to restore. And we found that uh, the aerial seeding and drone technology is one of the ways. Why do we say so? Because out of our research that we carried out, the desk research and also checking out the practical applicabilities of some uh, tree restoration methods, we did find that aerial seeding and using drone technology is cost effective and it will cover the country in, um, within a short period.